There are four muscle links to abdominal core power exercises. These four links must work together for maximal abdominal power during daily activities like walking, running, biking, and weightlifting. The four muscle links are one, abdominal muscles, two, back muscles, three, breathing diaphragm muscle, and four, pelvic core muscles or pelvic rotator cuff. Link number one, abdominal muscles. There are four abdominal muscles that work together as one unit. The rectus abdominis muscles are long, flat muscles running from your pubic bone to your ribs and sternum on either side of your belly button. The two sides of the rectus abdominis are connected by a band of tissue, the linea alba, running down the middle of your abdomen and through your belly button. The rectus abdominis muscles help to support abdominal organs as they improve in tone and strength. The oblique muscles are the largest muscle group of the abdomen, consisting of both external and internal oblique muscles. They run along the sides in front of the abdomen, from the ribs to the crest of your pelvis, and connect to the center through the linea alba. These muscles decrease your waistline as they improve in tone and strength. Deep below the oblique and rectus muscles lies the transverse abdominis. It is called the girdle muscle as it wraps around your abdomen like a girdle from the ribs and linea alba to attach on your spine through the thoracolumbar fascia. It is an important muscle that supports the lower spine and internal organs. Link 2. Back Muscles Second of the four links, the back muscles stimulate abdominal tone and strength whenever you are standing upright and moving. The short multifidi muscles connect with the thoracolumbar fascia of your transverse abdominus muscles at the spine. These muscles extend and straighten your spine as they increase abdominal tone and strength. The typical abdominal strengthening exercises abnormally increase spinal curves and shorten the spine. They put increased pressure on the pelvic muscles that attach to the sacrum, so the sacrum is pulled out of its normal position. Sacroiliac joint alignment is altered and sacral nerves can be compressed, leading to back, leg, and foot pain. Abdominal power exercises elongate and align the spine and sacroiliac joints. Abdominal power exercises normalize nerve pathways. Link number three, the breathing diaphragm. The breathing diaphragm forms the top of the abdominal back muscle girdle, or the abdominal tube. The breathing diaphragm is called a driver because it unconsciously stimulates or jump starts abdominal core power through its actions during breathing. It connects with your abdominal muscles at the rib cage, and since its tendons connect with the spine, the back muscles are also stimulated. As the breathing diaphragm descends with inhale and ascends with exhale, it increases abdominal tone and strength during your daily activities. Your body uses abdominal muscle power to improve your breathing. Abdominal muscle action deepens the inhale phase and completes the exhale phase of your breath. During inhale, the abdominal wall expands to accommodate the compressed internal organs as the breathing diaphragm descends and decreases the abdominal cavity size. During exhale, the abdominal muscle tone increases to support the internal organs and spine as the abdominal cavity space increases when the breathing diaphragm rises. The rhythmical increase and decrease of abdominal tone that coordinates with your breathing diaphragm lifts and supports your internal organs while it gently pumps blood and lymph from the lower abdomen towards your heart. It is important to use abdominal power exercises those that lift and support your internal organs. The traditional abdominal exercises have the reverse effect. They put a downward pressure on the organs and constrict blood and lymph flow. Link number four, pelvic core muscles. The pelvic core muscles, also known as the pelvic rotator cuff, form the bottom of the abdominal back muscle girdle. They connect with your abdominal muscles at the front of your pelvis and connect with the back muscles at the sacrum. When the pelvic rotator cuff muscles contract, they send electrical impulses into the abdominal muscles, increasing abdominal muscle activity. When the pelvic muscles that attach to the sacrum contract, they align your spine and increase activity in the back muscles. The pelvic muscles increase abdominal muscle tone and strength with every step you take. Conversely, your body uses abdominal muscle power to facilitate action of the pelvic core, pelvic rotator cuff muscles. Increased abdominal activity increases tone in the pelvic floor muscles, 
to improve support of the bladder and bowel and maintain closure of the outlets for urine and bowel movements. Improved pelvic core support improves postural alignment and balance in standing and walking. To achieve maximal core power, abdominal exercises must use all four links together. Breathing and pelvic core exercises are essential in strengthening your abdominal muscles. If any one of the links is dominant over the others, or if one of the links is broken, the girdle of support is weakened and abdominal strength is ineffective in daily function. When abdominal strength improves through breathing and pelvic core exercises, they then work effectively during sports and job-related activities. Your body uses the breathing diaphragm from the top down to automatically strengthen your abdominal muscles with every breath. Your body uses the pelvic core muscles from the bottom up to strengthen your abdominal muscles with every step you take. The result is a stable yet dynamic trunk and spine. When your abdominal muscles are weak and out of shape, you may experience back pain, stitches in your side, and bladder and bowel problems. Working together, abdominal muscle power balances and aligns your head and trunk over your legs in all standing activities. Dynamically stabilizes your spine as it twists and turns during daily activities. Normalizes nerve pathways. Assists diaphragmatic breathing lifts and supports your internal organs, pumps blood and lymph toward the heart, improves pelvic core support, and shapes your waist and flattens the lower abdomen. The traditional abdominal exercises round the shoulders and push organs into the lower abdomen, expanding the abdomen below the belly button. Abdominal core power exercises align the shoulders and head while they lift the organs and flatten the lower abdomen. While these abdominal exercises can benefit everyone, there are particular populations who will benefit most from this exercise routine. Two of these groups are pregnant and postpartum women and women over the age of 40. During pregnancy and postpartum, the structure and function of the abdominal muscles and pelvic core muscles are altered due to hormonal changes and increasing size of the uterus and fetus. As pregnancy progresses, hormonal changes cause loosening of connective tissue that support muscles and joint structure. The tissue connecting the right and left abdominal muscles loosens and the abdominal muscles separate to allow growth of the uterus and fetus. Sometimes excessive separation occurs and that can cause bladder and bowel dysfunction and low back, pelvic, and leg pain. When doing abdominal strengthening exercise during pregnancy and postpartum, protect the abdominal muscles from excessive separation by bringing the two sides together using your hands or a towel. Hormonal changes also cause pelvic and hip ligaments to loosen in preparation for delivery. When these ligaments loosen back, pelvic, and leg pain is common, as is the waddling gait of pregnancy. Hormonal changes thin and loosen the pelvic core muscles and fascia that support the uterus and fetus. The pelvic bowl descends as the fetus grows, putting more weight on the thinning pelvic muscles. The resulting irritation and stretching of soft tissue, nerves, and blood vessels can lead to pain in the low back, pelvis, and legs. Therefore, pregnancy is an important time to consider alignment of internal organs and pelvic muscles to facilitate pain-free daily activities. Pushing during delivery bursts the baby, but also pushes internal organs and pelvic muscles into abnormal descended positions. After delivery, the laxity of ligaments and fascia remains as long as breastfeeding continues. Therefore, postpartum is a time to consider alignment of internal organs and pelvic muscles to facilitate normal daily activities without pain or loss of bladder and bowel control. For pregnant and postpartum women, a special exercise routine is very beneficial. During pregnancy, with permission from the physician, use of the Wonder Wedge to realign the internal organs and relieve pressure on the pelvic muscles can bring significant relief. Phase one of abdominal core power exercises are safe and protect the linea alba from separation. If back lying is not recommended, the exercises can be done in side lying. Phase two exercises can be done using abdominal protection techniques if there is an indication of excessive separation. Postpartum, 
Abdominal core power exercises can be started within the first week with physician approval. Phase two core exercises can usually be started in two to four weeks when vaginal discharge is clear and the placental site is completely healed. Caesarean birth usually delays phase two exercises by an additional two to three weeks while the abdominal and uterine incision heals. Be sure to use abdominal protection if necessary. When there is back or pelvic pain, begin with phase one only. Progress to phase two when the pain is significantly improved. After age 40, structure and function of the abdominal and pelvic core muscles change. The pelvic core muscles become tissue paper thin due to the decline in estrogen and progesterone. Secondary results are often bladder dysfunction such as overactive bladder or leaking with physical activity and low back, pelvic, and foot pain. It is important then to realign the internal organs using the wonder wedge and facilitate abdominal power using the pelvic core pelvic rotator cuff muscles. This approach protects the thinner pelvic muscles from being overpowered by the more massive abdominal muscle action during abdominal strengthening exercises. Decline in estrogen and progesterone also results in increased laydown of abdominal fat deposits and the potential for abdominal muscle weakness. The common response is to redouble the abdominal exercise regimen doing curl ups and crunches from the head down. Doing these exercises increases pressure on the pelvic core muscles as the abdominal muscles contract, pushing the internal organs down on the pelvic muscles. The result is descent of internal organs called prolapse. 80% of women between the ages of 35 and 75 years old have significant descent of internal organs. Think of the abdominal trunk as a toothpaste tube. The toothpaste tube is composed of the toothpaste that includes the internal organs of bladder, intestines, bowel, and uterus. The toothpaste tube is formed by the abdominal and back extensor muscles as the front and back walls, the breathing diaphragm as the tube top, and the pelvic diaphragm as the tube base. The toothpaste can be pushed from the bottom up, from the top down, or from the middle in both directions. Abdominal strengthening from the top down pushes the toothpaste towards the base and eventually the pressure on the bottom of the tube breaks the tube and the paste will leak out. Abdominal strengthening from the bottom up, abdominal core power exercises, lifts the toothpaste towards the top and protects the base of the toothpaste tube. The choice is to descend organs and weaken the pelvic muscles or realign the internal organs and maintain the integrity of the pelvic muscles. When the pressure is too great through the abdominal cavity, tissues thin, pelvic core muscles descend and bladder, uterus and bowel also descend through the vagina. This is termed cystocele when the bladder descends down the vagina. It is termed uterine prolapse when the uterus descends down the vagina. And it is termed rectocele when the bowel descends down the vagina. The symptoms of this descent include pelvic pressure and pain, the inability to stand or walk for any length of time, bladder leaking, and constipation. As the pelvic core muscles descend, they also pull on the pelvic nerves that exit along the lumbar spine and sacrum. Changes seen in these nerves can lead to low back and sacroiliac pain, as well as leg and foot pain. After the age of 40, what happens inside your body, internal organ alignment and pelvic muscle integrity affects how your body feels and functions on the outside. Use of the Wonder Wedge exercises to prevent or restore internal organ alignment starts with Phase 1 and 2 of the Abdominal Core Power exercises. Progress to Phase 3 as the first two phases become easy. Always lift and align internally on the Wonder Wedge before doing Phase 3 exercises. If there is back or pelvic pain, begin with Phase 1 only. Progress to Phase 2 when pain has significantly decreased. To begin, you will need a thin mat to place on a hard surface. You will need the Wonder Wedge and the Roll for Control Ball. Wear comfortable clothes. Your feet can rest on the floor 
or on a ball, or a chair, or on the wall. This position cannot be duplicated using pillows because pillows compress with body weight. The Wonder Wedge is made of high density foam and is 8 inches high. The Wonder Wedge keeps your hips and lower abdomen 8 inches higher than your shoulders and allows gravity to assist in repositioning your internal organs while you recline on your back. To perform abdominal exercises most effectively, it is important to learn good positions that actively stabilize your back and neck in a neutral position. Minimize the involvement of the hip flexors and neck flexors. Abdominal core power exercises can be done daily based on the knowledge of how abdominal muscles function and how other muscles stimulate abdominal strength. Abdominal core power exercises progress in three phases. Each day plan to complete phase one and two core power exercises. They will take only 10 minutes a day. Repeat each exercise five to 10 times slowly and smoothly while maintaining your breathing rhythm. Never hold your breath. Phase one and two seem easy but are essential in aligning internal organs and coordinating abdominal core muscle action with breathing diaphragm and pelvic muscles. If you experience back pain or pelvic pain, begin with phase one exercises. Add phase two abdominal core exercises when the pain is significantly decreased. Phase three exercises are more vigorous and demanding. When phase one and two abdominal core power exercises are easy, you can add one or two exercises from phase three. The exercises are presented from the easiest to the hardest. Start with one or two repetitions of the easiest exercise in this series. Perform a maximum of three to five repetitions before adding the next exercise. Phase one, Wonder Wedge Alignment with Active Abdominal Power. Exercise one, Alignment on the Wonder Wedge. Place the wedge on the floor or on your bed. Sit next to it and then lift your hips onto the high edge of the wedge while your shoulders and head are off the wedge. Find a position that is comfortable with your hips as high on the wedge as possible. Your feet can be resting on the floor or on the wall or on a ball. Exercise two, diaphragmatic breathing. Once you are comfortable on the wedge, the next step is to practice six to eight diaphragmatic breaths. First, notice your natural breathing pattern. Notice your inhale and exhale. Then notice where your breathing occurs. Is there movement in your abdomen, chest, shoulders, back, neck, or jaw? Now just think, inhale, let my abdomen rise. Exhale, let my abdomen fall. Then as you inhale and exhale, think quiet shoulders, quiet chest. Next as you inhale and exhale, think jaw released, teeth apart, tongue at the bottom of my mouth. Now let your breath come naturally, thinking slow, low breathing. Exercise three, abdominal action through diaphragmatic breathing. Now as you inhale, let your abdomen rise. As you exhale, gently pull your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, abdomen rises. Exhale, pull your belly button towards your spine. Repeat this five to 10 times. Inhale, abdomen rises. Exhale, pull your belly button towards your spine. Very good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let all the rest of your body relax and remain in the same position. Exercise four, abdominal action through pelvic core exercise. Rest your feet on the wall so your knees are straight and comfortable. With heels touching, roll your toes out while you inhale for a count of five. Now with toes touching, rotate your heels out while you exhale for a count of five. Very good. Repeat this five to 10 times. Inhale, rotate your toes out with your heels touching. 
Now exhale and rotate your heels out with your toes touching. Inhale, toes out. Exhale, heels out. Inhale, toes rotate out and knees rotate out. Exhale, toes rotate in to touch, knees rotate in. Inhale, toes rotate out, knees rotate out. Exhale, toes rotate in, heels rotate out. Very good. Phase two, abdominal core power with resistance. Exercise one, roll for control abdominal power in hook lying. Place your feet flat on the floor or on a wall. Place the ball between your thighs with feet hip width apart. Now exhale as you roll your legs in on the ball, flattening the sides of the ball while rotating your toes in like a windshield wiper for a count of five. Now inhale as you roll your legs out while rotating your toes out for a count of five. Very good. Exhale as you roll your legs in on the ball, flattening the ball sides while rotating your toes in like a windshield wiper for a count of five. Inhale as you roll your legs out while rotating your toes out for a count of five. Exhale, rotate your toes in and your legs in, flattening the sides of the ball. Two, three, four, five. Now inhale as you roll your legs out while rotating your toes out for a count of five. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, rotate your toes in. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, rotate your toes out. Knees roll out. Exercise two, roll for control abdominal power with your legs on the wall. Rest your feet hip width apart on the wall with your knees straight and comfortable. Place the ball between your thighs. Now roll your legs in on the ball and rotate your toes in to touch as you exhale for a count of five. Then inhale and return your legs and toes to the outward position for a count of five. Exhale, toes in, roll your legs in on the ball, two, three, four, five. Now inhale, rotate your toes out, legs out, two, three, four, five. Exhale, toes in, squeeze the ball for a count of five. Inhale, toes out, two, three, four, five. Exhale, toes in, squeeze the ball for a count of five. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, rotate your legs out, toes out, two, three, four, five. Exhale, toes in, squeeze the ball, two, three, four, five. Inhale, toes out, two, three, four, five. Very good. Exercise three, diagonal abdominal core power. Rest your feet together on the wall. Place the ball between your thighs above your knees and bring your feet off the wall. Grasp your hands together with your elbows straight and hands pointed above your nose. Inhale as you rotate your knees toward the left while rotating your arms to the opposite direction for a count of five. Now exhale as you bring your knees and shoulders towards the center. Inhale, bring your knees to the right and your arms to the left for a count of five. Exhale as you rotate back to the center. Very good. Inhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, Legs to the left, arms to the right, back to center. Now, legs to the right, arms to the left, two, three, four, five. 
and back to the center. Very good. Knees to the left, arms to the right. Now back to the center, knees to the right, arms to the left, and back to the center. One more time, knees to the left, arms to the right, two, three, four, five. Now back to the center, knees to the right, arms to the left, two, three, four, five, and back to the center. Now rest. Phase three, abdominal core power maximized. Maximize abdominal core power using coordinated breathing, pelvic and trunk muscles against gravity and using resistance. These exercises are the most difficult and demanding of this series. When phase one and two exercises become easy, you can begin to use these exercises in phase three to maximize your abdominal power. The exercises are presented from the easiest to the hardest. Start with one to two repetitions of the easiest exercise in this series. Perform a maximum of three to five repetitions before adding the next exercise. Exercise one. Roll for control abdominal power with feet off the wall. Rest your feet on the wall with heels touching and your knees straight and comfortable. Lift your feet one to two inches off the wall, keeping your back and neck aligned on the supporting surface. Inhale as you roll your legs and toes out for a count of five, keeping your heels touching. Then exhale, toes and legs rotate in with your heels apart for a count of five. Inhale, toes and legs rotate out with your heels touching. Exhale, toes and legs rotate in with your heels apart. Very good. Inhale, toes and legs rotate out, heels touching. Exhale, toes and legs rotate in, heels apart. Very good. Exercise two, roll for control abdominal power with feet off the wall and resistance. Rest your feet hip width apart on the wall, knees straight and comfortable. Place the ball between your thighs. Lift your feet one to two inches off the wall, keeping your back and neck aligned on the supporting surface. Roll your legs in on the ball and rotate your toes in as you exhale for a count of five. Then inhale and return your legs and toes to the outward position. Very good. Inhale, rotate your toes in, your legs in, squeezing the ball for a count of five. Now exhale, rotate your toes and legs out for a count of five. Inhale, toes in, squeeze the ball. Exhale, toes out, Relax. Exercise three, roll up abdominal core power. Hold the ball with both hands, keeping elbows close to your side and ball at belly button level. Contract your abdominal muscles and press your knees into the ball while your hands provide a counter pressure on the ball. Keep your elbows stiff so the ball compresses and doesn't move away from your knees. As you press your knees into the ball, roll your buttocks off the wedge. Hold for a count of five, breathing naturally. Then rest for a count of five. Once more, roll your hips off the wedge, pressing your knees into the ball for a count of five. Your hands provide the counter pressure. Then rest for a count of five. Roll your knees into the ball, feeling the tightness in your abdominal muscles as you hold for a count of five, and then rest for a count of five. Very good. Exercise four, side plank abdominal core power. 
Lie on your side on the Wonder Wedge with your chest and hips supported. Extend your legs on the floor, one leg on top of the other. Bend your elbow so your forearm and hand are under your shoulder. Now lift your torso off the Wonder Wedge so your shoulders and hips are in a straight line. Hold the position for 5 to 20 seconds as you breathe naturally. Then relax back to the Wonder Wedge for that same count of 5 to 20. Lift and align your torso off the Wonder Wedge, shoulders and hips in a straight line, then relax down. Lift and align, maintaining your breathing in a natural pattern. Hold for a count of five, and then relax down. Very good. Now change sides. It is common that one side is easier to do than the other. It's important to exercise both sides each time. Lift your torso off the Wonder Wedge, aligning your shoulders and hips in a straight line for a count of five as you breathe naturally. Then lower slowly and rest for a count of five. Lift and align for a count of five. and rest for a count of five. Once more, lift and align, one, two, three, four, five, and rest completely. Good job. Exercise five, prone plank abdominal core power. Lie with your stomach on the wonder wedge, forearms and toes resting on the floor. Tighten your abdominal muscles and lift your body into a straight line off the Wonder Wedge. Push up from your toes and forearms. Hold for a count of 5 to 20 seconds, breathing naturally, and then relax back onto the wedge. Push up from your toes and forearms. Your shoulders and hips form a straight line parallel with the floor. Hold for a count of 5 to 20 seconds, breathing naturally, and then rest for a count of 5 while you breathe naturally. Lift up and hold, making sure your buttocks are not higher than your shoulders, and then rest for a count of 5. Very good. Exercise 6, Prone Plank Windmill Abdominal Core Power. Lie with your stomach on the Wonder Wedge. Make sure your fists are under your shoulders and toes resting on the floor. Push up from your toes and fists. Bring your right knee to touch the Wonder Wedge, then return it to an extended position. Now your left knee. And back to the extended position. Be sure to breathe naturally. Bring your right knee up, maintaining alignment of your hips and shoulders. Now your left knee up and back to the extended position. One more time, bring your right knee up and back. And now your left knee. Very good. Relax back onto the Wonder Wedge. Congratulations, you're on your way to healthy abdominal core power. My name is Paula Rojas. I am a 40-year-old mother of three. I am also um, an actress, and it's really important for me to take care of myself for my job. Um, I do a lot of exercises. I run a lot, uh, try to eat right and exercise. I did the traditional setups for a while, uh, but it did really hurt my lower back, and I did feel a tremendous amount of strain on my pelvic floor. And after having a few kids, I mean, it's really pronounced. So I uh, changed my uh, abdominal exercises from the traditional setups to using a yoga ball, the big Pilates ball. I would sit on that and lean back on it and come up. And again, I felt less pressure on my pelvic floor, but I still did. Um, but with using the wedge, there's no pressure. I feel like everything is where it's supposed to be and you're concentrating on your abs and you see great results.